Hello everyone, Crystal Wizard here. Welcome to the final part of my Let's Play of this game here. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, I <laughs> almost forgot. And uh, yes, today we are in the cruise ship, which is the um, the final level, which is a pretty difficult level, I'd say. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just going to lower the pull, and I've got a strategy for it. Um, so I'm going to end the run, there we go, I've got the stat point and everything. Now that was a strategic plan, um, I'm just going to save it, might as well. That was a very strategic plan, I'll show you why. Um, is now that I've unlocked that, I can simply jump down... Get, get, get the tape and then not have to worry about um, unloading the pool the next time. So technically this is my first run. So I've got a whole strategy for this level, at least for like the first few tasks. The rest of them is going to go whatever because, you know, I guess it, they're, they're all doable tasks and that was a fail. Um, so let's get the 500,000 points. That's all we need to do. Um, oh, yes, 720 is 540 flip. Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I've start. I've gotten a lot better at doing combos and linking stuff. I mean, if only in suburbia and the other. Oh, for fuck's sake. If only in suburbia and the um, airport, I was way better at that. Um, I just had enough. For some reason, I just didn't. I, just, I didn't get into the feel of this game. And I bet you I will fail later on. But I uh, know it's just t it's tough to sometimes get into the feel of it. But um, this is a nice looking level. Um, it's quite fairly creative. It's a bit of a different idea. You wouldn't really expect a cruise ship, would you? Um, I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect a cruise ship. And yeah, I guess so let's try and get a big combo. Um, all right, no, it didn't work. No, okay, that was all right. Pro score, 362,000. Might as well take a bit of a risk and might take a bit of a risk and. Um, uh, what's it called? Go get some points somewhere else. Now, one of the most annoying tasks I personally have is... Oh, damn it. Um, one of the most annoying tasks I usually have is... I, I don't like doing... would have to be um, the Never Soft Girls Challenge. It's just a pain. Oh, and this challenge is easy. Look. Done. Crafted Museum complete. Very easy. Um, the music you're hearing right now isn't from the game. I thought I'd try something different for the final part. A bit of my... Deep house, not my music, but some deep house in the background just to see how it would actually fit. I actually reckon it would fit really good because you know you're used to always having hip hop and and rock music in the game. Why don't we try something else? You know, just see if people like it. Now this combo better be enough, otherwise I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's enough. That's gonna be enough. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, 596,000. Okay, that was awesome. Well, we actually got. Bloody good score. Okay, excellent, great. All right, let's end that. Um, so yeah, let's go and do the rest now. Here we go. Okay, round two, second try. Let's try and impress these never soft bitches. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So yeah, um, this task is probably one of my most hated. Um, just because the girls are so annoying, and I know it actually is very representative to society itself. I know it's just a video game, but like, it's like the typical, the, the Neversoft women are the typical girls that I hate in real life. Like, people that have to be instantly gratified by everything. If you don't do something really impressive, it's like, oh, well, you're shit. You know what I mean? I hate that sort of mentality. Um, not everyone has to be performing for you girls, that's just what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say something by her guy, I'm just saying that, that these, these Neversoft girls are bitches, so, you know, you know how it is. Video game characters being bitches, of course. There you go, 5 out of 7. Oh no, it's the 6th one here. Come on. Oh, I didn't even, oh no. Oh, come on. See, the problem with this, as well, is that, uh, and, and how can, you can, how can you knock over a guy and then a girl not get knocked over at all? So I'm not trying to be sexist, but I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, come on. The problem with this area, the problem with the area, is that you have to do uh, big moves in such a small area. This is the problem, see? see? I think the best way to do it is to start in a different area. There we go. Six out of seven. And then please have the seventh one be over here. Yes, I think it is. Hell yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, what? Shut up. Damn it. Okay. Done. Annoying, annoying girls. Okay. 
And then what I'll try and do to just to finish off is, no, nah, it's not going to work. Okay. Oh no, that was an absolutely crappy run. Just to point it out, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Yeah, that was terrible. Okay, well we actually, oh that was alright. Okay, so now we need to get skate and blunt slide, nose blunt slide and awning. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> yep, okay, shut up. Alright, third. Now let's get skate. Nope, let's not do that. Okay, getting skate involved doing this. Doing that, there we go, that's a, that's a nice trick I, I use. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, um, every time I play this game, when, like, by, while talking, it always ends in tears. Not in tears, but literally, like, <laughs> proverbial tears. I don't know, it just, it's really annoying. It's this really hard game to play. Um, it's, it's not one of those games where you can just, oh, I'm just gonna do it in three parts, do you know what I mean? It's very, it's very much not like that. Um, you know, or three tries, you know, you have to kind of, it takes practice and, you know, time to, to beat. Um, and, okay, where the hell's the T? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yes, T. Let's scat, and let's get the E. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Oh, no. And then the E is up here. And then we've got to get nose blunt slide the awning, which is two ups and then triangle, I think. I hope so. Now, where the hell those awnings actually are, that's the question. Okay, there they are. All right, so. There we go. And done. We did it. Okay, so now, all goals are complete, but let's try and get the stat, stat points so we can 100% because um, yeah, that'd be really convenient, wouldn't it? Um, come on, okay. So now, there's a secret area we unlocked. Um, so you remember how, no, nah, wrong way. Um, yeah, let's end run. Yep, done, done, done. Oh, Darth Maul, oh, that's the guy from, yeah, whatever. Um, there we go, let's get lit balance, it's all we need to upgrade now, save game, and then what we'll do is, I think the best thing to do would be, let's go find those remaining stat points. Okay, so, so, okay, there we go, that's three out of five. Um, okay, no, it's definitely not this way, it's the other direction. Yeah, nose blunt slot is kind of easy, look, I mean, it's just up, up. The other one, so that's cool. Um, thank you for inventing that. Okay. Now here's the other. Here's number th four, and then number five is. Where's number five? Oh no. Um. Where's number five? Oh, I think it's over there. Um. Okay. No. I think. Oh, no. No. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I don't actually know where the fifth one is. Actually, no, I think I do. I think it's where I thought it was. Um, wait a minute. All the way the, <laughs> the other way. Here we go. It's the one that we missed near the start. Let's go get it now. Oh, whoops. I can't believe it. We've actually beaten this game. It's actually been pretty tough. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I actually struggle with it. It's been a really hard game. But um, yeah, let's let's get the final thing in the game, other than the the board, which I'm not gonna bother about. But yeah, we. Um, that's it, guys. That's end the run. And. That's it, we are now complete. That's it, that, that's what I constitute as completion, basically. All goals and all, um, and all, you know, maxed out stat points. You've pretty much collected everything except for one board, which I didn't correct. Um, collect, sorry. So I'm just gonna go around a bit more, just talk about this um, LP-wise. Um, this has been a tough game for me to play, I'm not gonna be honest with you. Um, it hasn't been a hard, all, always fun, but, um, in fact, I'll say this now, the parts where I've done post-commentary, post, post commentary, 
um, is were actually a lot more fun because I can kind of concentrate more and have fun recording it and then, you know, focus on the commentary after. So that did benefit me quite a lot, actually. Um, but, you know, this. other than that, this is a pretty good game. Early in the LP, I was kind of annoyed with this game, actually. I was thinking, you know what? I reckon that Underground 2, Underground is better, and I keep with that statement. I think the game is a lot better than, this is a lot worse than Underground, if you ask me. It doesn't make it a bad game, it just means, I just think Underground is a lot more polished, but there's a reason for that, you know, being released a couple years later, so of course, you know, that's what we have to expect. But, you know, a solid outing, another good game, probably, I think, I don't know if I prefer 2 or 1. The levels in this are kind of cool, some of them are memorable, some of them aren't. Um, but yeah, no, actually, California, I really like California, I started out by hating it, but now I really like California, um, Tokyo's a bit of a pain, especially getting the stat points, and I didn't get any stat points recorded in the part, but yeah, um, might as well pause it here, that's the end of the LP, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I shall see you when we do a future Let's Play, um, probably my next Tony Hawk LP will be everyone's favourite, um, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it very much, and see you later.